rolling up, Uber black Cadillac, high heel boots, and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad. After her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that? I think she's feeling me. Turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh god, she's such a tease. Bitten lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her, need her touching me. Cause she got a bad little waist. And we tearing down this place. Off the liquor that we chase. Got some needles to the face. Baby, I don't need no space. Coming closer for a taste. And I'll show you how I make everything. Everything just fade away cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on a tight frame All game, no shame Hey, what's up guys? It's Bast. Welcome to the Outdoor Gorilla The channel uh, was once named FRNG uh, I decided to restructure the channel in order to create some more precise content to stay in my niche so in the new channel the outdoor gorilla or the, or the og channel you will find guns outdoor and survival gear and much more so i'm stepping the bar from this the fucking that you know you don't even see the bar also we uh, have uh, three segments on the channel we'll have uh, out in the wood cannon group all the outdoor stuff we'll have uh, in the shop segment and we'll have in the uh, shooting range segment that but also we will have content in french et oui bonjour à tous ici bas je vais faire du contenu cette année en français euh, la channel qui était anciennement FRNG devient Outdoor Gorilla. Euh, j'ai fait des restructurations au niveau du channel. J'ai amélioré, euh, je voulais améliorer la, le, le contenu. Je voulais améliorer euh, la qualité d'enregistrement, les prises de, de scène, le editing. C'est pour ça que j'ai pris une pause de un an pour restructurer le channel. On va avoir de la merch. Ça va être malade. Êtes-vous excité? Moi, je suis excité fait que bon, c'est oh, on laisse faire les blagues. Um, donc, uh, to all my subscribers, uh, I would like to thank you, all of you guys, to the past and present and future subscriber. Thank you guys. I'm pretty sure this bike is the best bike out there for the money. So let me show you guys some quirks and features. Uh, first of all, we have some high threaded Maxxis wheel, which are amazing, give you a lot of confidence. Uh, those are tubeless ready, but I'm running tubes on them. Also, the gear set, we have this uh, Shimano DDRE XT with the clutch here that you can lock in order to tighten a little bit the chain so you don't, so the, the chain doesn't go out of gear. All this section is carbon fiber. This section is aluminum. Your rear track is a Fox Float X. An amazing suspension. Coming up front, we have this Fox 38 suspension, which is amazing. There's plenty of settings. Don't touch the settings if you don't count the clicks, because otherwise you will be uh, fucked up in your settings. Here you have the port to adjust the pressure. Me, I'm running at 110, 110 PSI. And on the rear chuck, I'm running on 210 because I'm, I'm waiting around that 210. Sitting here is at the, at the 6, I think. I'm running tire pressure at 33 PSI. Between 30 and 35, I think you're pretty good, but uh, in the muddy condition and the slippery condition, I'll go as low as 30 PSI. If it's drier, I'll go more on the, the 35 PSI. Clean it, wash it before and after every ride. This is really important to maintain uh, good riding quality and uh, make sure your bike uh, lasts longer. So in this video, we're gonna be Riding, riding the bike, I'm going to show you all the maintenance uh, you got to do uh, before and after. Uh, we already spoke about uh, the suspension. You need to set tire pressure, suspension settings every time you're going to you're gonna ride. Test the brake. I'm going to show you guys what I bring each time I go in up the mountain because security is a key ingredient. I got, of course, my full face. I got my full plate, don't see shit. A full plate. Protect your column and your neck a little bit. I got my pad.
and of course I have tape because I tape my pad otherwise they always uh, slide down I have a pump for emergency I have this really useful what I got more. of course I got glove some old-fashioned Milwaukee gloves do the tricks with a little padding and uh, that's pretty much it so guys I want to say equip yourself huh? because uh, I see a guy just literally died the other day at the mountain so people are not aware of the danger of uh, going out and out in the mountain so equip yourself guys in this show there will be plenty of shit that you shouldn't do at home this is a disclaimer you should not attempt any of this at home understand Mm. Unless you want to look like me. Also, I'm bringing some extra tools to take care. I'm, I'm putting oil on the chain, of course, every uh, first day. You see, I have a little bit of tool here. I have oil. My chop, pump chuck supposed to be in there. Yeah, here. But just your shock pressure really useful you always gotta make sure you have your shock pump with you when you go and the, up the mountain the brakes here we got the slx uh, quad piston brakes they don't uh, require maintenance uh, just a little bit of cleaning be sure to remove uh, the dust uh, after no extra care for that on a regular basis this bike of course is equipped with a dropper post you want to lube up shaft here with the silicone based uh, spray just like the your front suspension once in a while just in order to keep it clean so it doesn't seize up another, another important part is being well hydrated this this is why i'm bringing water and stuff to remain hydrated on today's shows we're gonna be reviewing the uh, marion alpen trail carbon derb mountain bike and for that we're gonna take a little trip out in mount bellevue in my hometown in sherbrooke so uh, that's uh, around uh, half an hour trip and uh, up there we're gonna gear up and i'm gonna show you around the mount bellevue area let's go
your uh, good maintenance routing because uh, just a little bolt uh, misaligned or mistightened somewhere can have a catastrophic result. Uh, keep in mind that the guys lost his life uh, just the other day in Bromont here in Canada. So uh, safety first guys. Just a couple last words uh, on the Alpine Trail C2. Uh, a really nice bike. Uh, really top quality parts on the bike for the uh, a really low price uh, on the market really you can find a, a better uh, better bike with this kind of F equipment uh, if it would be a norco or trek it would be around 10 to 15k uh, the bike so really uh, good reliable uh, amazing controlling the air uh, so i've got to wrap the show we wrap the show hope you guys uh, enjoy the new quality of the content i'll be i'll be working really hard to, both on, on my english and on my editing and uh shit's uh, supposed to be turning good from uh, now and uh, 2040 so so if you're liking the show why not please subscribe and leave a comment or a thumbs up and show the algorithm we're in the place uh, soon we'll have uh, a lot of uh, merch soon 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 we'll have merch available uh, some outdoor gorilla stuff if you want to support the channel go grab some merch until next time let's get dirty